Hello everyone, my name's Adam Reeples Vox, and I have a quick tutorial here for you. I'm doing something mid-project edit, so I don't actually have the ability to scale up my DPI to make the tutorial look better. But I want to show you how to back up your Premiere Pro uh, effect presets and things like, and your preferences and your workspaces and things like that. Because I recently had a scare while trying to edit this video just now, where all of my effects presets were as they were like six months ago, instead of how they were yesterday prior to me upgrading to the new Adobe CC 2015.3 or whatever the most the newest update that just came out for the summer all the presets were gone and all these things that I had for my big 24 key control pad wouldn't work because the presets weren't there so I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to export your or to back up your presets and things like that so the first way is via the folder structure so up until this most recent update which is probably you know the one prior to that is probably what you wanted or what you want to back up you go to your documents folder on Windows and on Mac and go to Premiere Pro. Now the newest version that just came out is 10.0. So if your presets are missing in 10.0, you don't really want to back that up yet. What you want to back up is 9.0. All of these files basically just right click, copy and put it in a folder where you're going to remember it. I'm going to call it Premiere Preferences Documents. So I know where to actually put it within the folder structure. And I'm actually going to make a folder in here called 9.0 so I know which one is which. And in fact, instead of copying those that way, you can just copy your 9.0 folder entirely in there to make it easier on you as well. And I'm going to back up the 10.0 folder since I've since moved them over. Now to get them into the new version, you simply open up the 9.0 folder, copy all of these files, and paste them over top the files in 10.0, and then tell it if it asks to overwrite any files, and it will update that. But there's also a second place where part of your presets and preferences are stored. And that's over here in your user folder and then app data. And if you don't see app data, you need to go up here to uh, home, view, options, change folder and search options. And if you're on Windows 7 or 8, it's just like tools folder op. And then this menu is the exact same across pretty much all Windows. Go to view, show hidden files and folders. And then you can view the app data folder and just turn that option back off once you're done. Then go to roaming, Adobe, and then scroll down to Premiere Pro. And then you have the exact same setup, 9.0 and 10.0. If you want to update the new version with your previous preferences, just copy 9.0's contents into the 10.0 folder. And we're just backing them up. Just select the two folders. Make a folder somewhere. Premiere preferences roaming and copy them in there and you are good to go there is another way you can back them up as well if you're actually in premiere or this is for your effects presets specifically but if you're in premiere under the effects panel click the little three lines and go to export presets and it will export pretty much one at a time unfortunately but if you hold down if you select one and hold down control you can actually select multiple presets and so you can go it's a very tedious and horridly obnoxious process but you can go through and select all of your custom presets i'm not going to do all of them right now but you get the gist then go to export preset and then i'm going to go to my desktop where i was saving those folders premiere export and then save however you want to title it and hit save and it will export them that way and then you can just import those those effects later so two different ways you can back up some of your presets and preferences for adobe premiere pro and import them to the new version if they're not showing up after the update if you enjoyed the video smash the like button get subscribed for more awesome tech videos just wanted to make this real quick and otherwise i will catch you in the next one